Good morning, YouTube. Uh, been a while since I made a video. Uh, been a lot of ridiculous things going on lately, and news, and the you know, world, and everything. Uh, one of them that I find a little, a little odd, disturbing, is the attack on people's religious beliefs. Christianity, to be exact, the left is attacking Christianity. Um, I have a, just a really quick opinion on that. Apparently they have forgotten uh, this thing called the Crusades when Christians basically, you know, under order of the king, I'm sure, went around and basically forced people to repent, convert, or die. Um, you know, right now in this day and age, most Christian-based religions are very peaceful and, you know, attempt to help people and whatnot. You know, it's anybody's business. They want to be, you know, whatever they want to be. But, um, you know, these these lefty nimrods want to keep poking the bear. What's going to end up happening is a lot of these Christian groups are going to stop being so friendly and decent, and they're, they're going to unleash hot fury, you know? I mean, uh, look at the past, you know? Always... Always look at the past. You know, if we don't learn the past, we're doomed to repeat it sort of thing. And um, I don't think these people realize what they're doing. I don't think these people realize that, you know, they're, they're potentially starting something that they're not going to be able to finish. Um, we, we all know the lefty mi mindset is very weak, really. Um, they're very fragile. You know, they crumble over everything. You know, how, how are they going to deal with, you know, busloads of armed Christians basically coming door to door and be like, you either repent and convert or die. They're going to crumble, you know. Um, I don't think any of us really want to see that because that's going to be really bad. Um, that's pretty much my hot take on that. You know, it's the same thing with this, uh, these, you know, attack on whites, you know, it's like, how quickly they forget, you know, how quickly they forget what, uh, what some, um, ill motivated, you know, people can do, you know, there was a reason why, you know, people feared those groups from back in the past. There was a reason for that, a very good reason, you know, um, I, I mean, I personally hope it doesn't come to that kind of situation in this country because this country is definitely a trouble especially if the current potato in chief ends up getting another four years in i mean he's already messed our country up pretty bad in just a few the short amount of time he's been here he's he's done a lot of damage and unfortunately uh, if he gets another four years <laughs> who knows what's going to happen you know what i mean um We're, we're in a shaky time. We're in a shaky time, for sure. But there's one thing, there's one thing that at least ought to put most of, a smile on most of our face is um, this. That's right. French press coffee is the way to go. I mean, that puts a smile on my face. Not that I want to get up and go to work. I just do it because I have to, which is another point I'd like to make on, you know, of course, toward the lefty, side of things you know they they think everything's free you know that money just comes out of thin air you know they uh, they all get on welfare and they they you know beg for stimulus checks and all this that and the other you know always using government programs thinking oh well the government's paying for it if they really think the government is putting their hands in their pockets and pulling out money and dulling it out to people <laughs> no man it's people like me people like you they're out there working every day, not because you want to, but because you have to. You know, you got family support, you got bills to pay, and you know that you don't make it without a paycheck. You don't make it without a job. You got to work. You got to pay your bills. You got to pay your way. That's the way this country works. And you know, we all know the politicians are corrupt. We all know that, you know, left or right, they all have their own agenda, you know, to, to fill up their bank account with taxpayer money. That's really what politics is. I mean, that's 
the problem with left or right extremist groups is that they put all this faith in like their political party thinking they're going to make it okay. And look, don't get me wrong, I'm more right-leaning than I am left. Um, but I, I choose to stay in the middle, really, because politics is a dancing monkey show. You know, it's there to distract you. It's there to, you know, keep you angry at something. You know, keep your mind off what's really happening. You know, what the truth is our taxpayer dollars are going to helping junkies and bums and stuff rather than, you know, help the, help the, help, help where help is needed. You know, they're, they're building, like down here in downtown Ithaca, they're building houses for these junkies that live in the woods. It's a place called the jungle. But yet our roads are turning to shit. Our roads still haven't been fixed in all the years I've lived in this county. The roads are still in the same piss poor ass condition. They're building a hotel, another hotel. Who's gonna wanna stay in that hotel if the car that they've rented is being beat to shit by the road? <laughs> it just baffles me, it baffles me. But anyway, I'm starting to get on a rant and a tangent and I really don't got time for that this morning. I just wanted to put my two cents in and what's going on lately with politics and again I don't like to make videos unless I have something I want to say something that I feel strongly about that I want to talk about and share it um, I know that doesn't make me a very popular youtuber and I'm not really you know relevant on this platform but I do like to speak my mind and to those who do enjoy my content I appreciate your thumbs up and appreciate your viewing and appreciate the comments until then, you know, keep working. All those, all those bums and junkies depend on your fucking money. <laughs> keep working so they can keep bitching and complaining about you. You know, because that's really what this is about. Attack on white people, attack on Christians, attack on the working man. It's always going to be the working man that bears the, the weight of the labor of the shit. You know, we, we were just raised differently, I guess. We were raised to do that. Um, but... This video is run a few minutes longer than I really wanted it to. So, anyway, enjoy your guys' day. Keep working. Uh, you keep watching them. I'll keep making them. Thanks for stopping in. Laters.